In this video, I'm going to show you the quickest way to bookmark websites in Google Chrome, along with a few tips and tricks, of course. You can see that I already have some of my commonly visited websites saved to my bookmarks bar right here, which gives me easy access to them no matter what device I'm on or where I am on the web. So to demonstrate how to add a bookmark, I'm going to open up this website called Wheel of Names. And I'm just going to click on this little star right up here. And you can see that the bookmark has now been added to my bookmarks bar, so it's as simple as that. But you might want to do some tidying up a bit, so what I like to do is shorten the name a little so you can kind of get rid of all this extra stuff that they add on the end. And then you can see that it has been modified on the bar. But as a personal preference, you can see that I only have the icons here rather than the icons and the names. So again, this is just a personal preference, but to show you how to do this, I'm going to go back and edit. And then I'm just going to delete the name entirely and click save. And you'll see that it has left me with only the icon. And I just really like this trick because it takes up less space on the bookmarks bar and just looks a little bit neater in general. And if I want to remove the website from my bookmarks bar, that's super easy too. I'm just gonna click on this little star that I clicked on in the first place to add it, click remove, and there you go, it's gone. Another thing that you can do is create folders for your bookmarks bar. So basically this little guy right here is a folder, and if I click on it, you will see that I have some websites saved within the folder. And this is useful if you have some websites or documents that you want quick access to, but don't necessarily need them taking up space on the bar. So to do that, I'm going to come back up to this little star in the corner and we'll go through the process again, but instead of selecting bookmarks bar, I'm going to select a folder. Now I've already created this folder and you can see that it doesn't have a name, so it just shows up blank. So I only have the icon. But what I could do is, let's say I didn't have this folder created, I could just go to um, choose another folder. So this will allow me to create a new folder and I'll just title it new folder so you can see, and then I'll click save. So now I've added this new folder right here to my bookmarks bar and if I click on it, the wheel of names will show up right below it. So basically I can save websites as icons directly to my browser bar or I can create folders and stash them in there. I can always modify my bookmarks bar by right mouse clicking on the bookmarks icon and I can rename the bookmark or delete and I can also open up my bookmarks manager from here as well. And this is basically a place where I can view all of my bookmarks and I can see all of the icons that I have and I can click on these three little dots over here to bring up some additional actions that I can use with my bookmarks. I can also pull up the bookmarks manager from these three little dots over here and I can come over to bookmarks and then bookmarks manager. So as you can see, adding websites to your bookmarks bar is a great time saver, but what's also great is that your bookmarks are synced to your Chrome profile, which means you have access to them wherever you're logged into Chrome. If you have any questions or other ideas for using bookmarks, I'd love to hear it. So please feel free to reach out in the comments or on social media. And as always, if you found this video helpful, I would love if you could like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.